Hi everybody and welcome to day five of the 2020 Eric's Trains Christmas Bonanza. Eight videos in eight days starting on Christmas Day and ending on New Year's Day. So for day five we're going to be checking out the new Lionel Vision Line stock cars. It's a beautiful box. I always love these Vision Line boxes. And then if we flip it over, features each three pack contains one sound car. The sound car plays livestock and train sounds in motion and stopped. Cattle noises increase at start of motion. Three user activated loading and unloading sequences. And then legacy control, min, max, and volume control switches. Die cast sprung trucks. Operating coupler with hidden tab and one electro coupler. Quillable cow feature using the legacy cab 2 remote. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right. See if I can get this box open without damaging it. There we go. And there's one in the box. It looks fantastic. Now, Lionel offered these in their 2020 Volume 1 catalog and they were delivered a short time ago here in late 2020. They did six road names. They did Santa Fe, MKT, Canadian Pacific, Armor, CB&Q, and Chicago Northwestern. And obviously, I got the Chicago Northwestern versions. Looks awesome. Let's take them out of the box. <laughs> Got some cows. <laughs> Reminds me of the Lion Elf stock car from the post war period. Got four cows here. And there it is. And if you look on the inside, they've got this piece of plastic. I wonder if that's where you put the cows. Very interesting. I see a little holes in there for the cow's feet. So maybe they go in there. I guess you have to open it up to put them in there. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's open up the other ones. This one does not have cows, but this is the sound car. And they've just got it blocked off because it's got all the electronics for the sounds in there. And there's the run program, the mid-max switch, and the volume knob. There's the speaker hole. And you can see here, they've got this little piece of metal on the axle, and there's a sensor, and that detects when the car is moving so that it can play the appropriate sounds. Oops. Okay, I don't know if you saw it, but this little piece fell off the bottom, but I'm not freaking out. I'm just gonna glue it back in place and it'll be just fine. Just like that. And I'll hit it with some InstaSet. And it should be good as new. Notice how I didn't freak out I didn't call Lionel screaming at them. I didn't call the place where I bought this and scream at them. I just fixed it. Sometimes parts fall off in chipping, and that's just life. And when that happens, you fix it. It's no big deal. So, yeah, there's the sound car. Let's open up the third car. Oh, here's more cows. <laughs> And that's another empty car, which I assume I'm going to fill with cows. So I really want to find out how to do that. So here's one of those cows up close. They're really well made. <laughs> nice and solid. Very cool. So I think to load the cows into these cars, I can see those little spaces for their feet. So I'm guessing you have to open the car up. So let's do that. 
I didn't see anything in the instructions about the non-powered cars. I'm probably doing this all wrong, but <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and open it up and put the cows in there. Really weird. They would make you disassemble the whole car to put the cows inside, but whatever. I guess maybe they want to give you the option of putting the cows outside the cars. I don't know. Maybe if you've got a farm scene or meat packing plant scene or something. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so there's the platform. And you can see they got these little holes for the feet, I think. So let's see. Yeah, okay. So they fit right there. <laughs> wonder if I should glue them in place. I mean, if they come out while they're in the car, they're going to rattle around in there, and I'm going to have to open it up again. So, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm going to put a little drop of CA glue, just maybe like one per cow, just to make sure that they stay in place. Probably not the right way to do it, but oh well. Okay, there we go. And let's go ahead and reassemble it. All right, let's do the other car too. There we go. So now <laughs> we got some cows inside. All right, so we've got all three cars on the track now. So we'll go ahead and program the sound car into my legacy system, and then we'll give these things a whirl. All right, so let's put the sound car into program mode. And I believe I'm going to put my sound car in slot 73. <laughs> All right, let's put it back into run mode. Okay, so you got the motion activated sounds. So here's a look at what all the buttons on the Legacy Remote do with the stock car. We've got the load and unload sounds. We've got rail clatter sounds curve grind sounds, flange grinding sounds. Aux 3 is a special sound. You can fire the coupler. The train brake does a stock car air brake equipment sound. You can adjust the volume. And then the Aux 1 key has a high metallic air release sound. So let's give some of these sounds a try. Let's try the unload sound. Keep those cows a moving! <laughs> <laughs> and let's try the unload sound. And there are several unload sounds and several loading sounds, so. Okay, guys, let's move. <laughs> Go, yeah! That's how it's done. <laughs> this is great. Let's try another loading sound. I bet the guys recording these sounds had a ball. Let's try one more unloading sound. Let's get these steer unloaded. Go, yeah! Nice work and on time delivery. <laughs> All right, and then we've got air brake sounds. And then we've got 
a high metallic air release sound for aux one. And then we've got a special sound for aux three. <laughs> it sounds like someone being stampeded by a cow. <laughs> this is awesome. And lastly, let's try the quilling moo sound. <laughs> this thing's awesome. I love it. All right, so now we're going to have some fun. I've got these two Challengers double-headed, and then I've got the Vision Line stock car further on down. So on my Legacy Remote, I'm going to go to train number three and hit info, build, and I'm gonna delete whatever's in here and add my engines and the Vision Line stock car. So the Stripe Challenger is at ID number 75. Never mind that it says AC9. I've got multiple engines assigned to each ID in my legacy system because I've got so many engines. Then we'll do 57, which is the Greyhound Challenger. And then we'll do 73, which is the Vision Line stock car. Hit set. And there we go. So because I have the stock car programmed into the train, it means that I can access it on the fly by using the train link button. So if I hit that button, now I get the stock car controls and I can play the sounds. <laughs> and then to go back to the train, just hit the button again, and I'm back to running the engines. So let's go ahead and roll it out. stock car is a little loud, so I'll use the train link button to turn the volume down a little bit. Like that.
folks, that about does it for day five. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day six.